Hey divas, this is Anna coming to you with um, my project. <laughs> and this project is for a YouTube hop that I am participating in. And this is with the Scrapping Queens of 2013. Um, that would be Tamika, who's the one that actually personally invited me and asked me to be part of this YouTube hop. Thank you so much, Tamika, for asking me. I'm like super honored that you would ask. And um, she has scrapped the world here on YouTube. I am gonna have all of the ladies that are participating, all their information below. All you gotta do is click on all of them. Please, please make sure that you are subscribed to each one of us and that you leave a comment on each one of our um, channels or our videos. And you want to make sure the person before me is Bonnie, who is Sassy Scrappers, and the person that's after me is JB Lady Scrapper 48. Make sure you're looking in the description below so you can start with the first one, which is Scrap to World. That's Tamika. She's the first video, and you're going to want to go from that point forward. And make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you leave a comment. That's all you got to do. Please do not do video responses. Those are not necessary. Um, just make sure you watch the videos. Each one of us will be doing our own little prize. Um prize package to go ahead and send out little little goodies. I'm not going to show it to you because I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do, but I'm going to put together a little goodie bag for whoever wins on my channel. Then for everybody that does participate, that's just for me personally doing it for coming and watching mine, but for um, if, if you do everybody's channels, then what's going to happen is that um, Tamika and the, um, let me see, who else? Uh, Tamika, Betty, and Markeisha. All three of those, those ladies are the ones that are the Scrapping Queens of 2013. You guys probably already know that. They also will be, will be doing a little gift uh, prize for whoever wins that. So you could win on mine and you could win from one of them also. So you have that option. And everybody, we will be checking to make sure that you're doing both. Please don't just make sure to subscribe and not leave a comment or leave a comment and not be subscribed. Don't do that because then you disqualify yourself. So you want to make sure you get in on the goods, okay? So once again, the person before me is Sassy Scrappers. The person after me is JB Lady Scrapper 48. Let's get this party started. This right here is, um, you know, the title of our whole thing is Pocket Full of Posies. So this is my, what I wanted to do. Tamika wanted to make sure that whatever we do, it's our own range that we make sure we use pretty spring colors and that we um, make sure to um, use lots of flowers and to do something unique. You know, no ATC cards, no cards, no something that we've already seen a hundred times. So she wanted us to think outside the box. This is me thinking outside the box. <laughs> and everything girls was purchased at the dollar store. What? So my flower pot is a ceramic flower pot. It was purchased at the dollar store. I changed it. It was it had purple, orange, yellow. It had some funky colors on it. So I changed it. I gessoed it three times. I got pink paint, white paint, and I just splotched it on. That's all I did so that it gives it that texture. This is not adhered on. It's only adhered at the top. And then right here, I just tied tool around in the middle. So it's kind of like skirted out. I didn't want it to be, I didn't want to adhere it here because it wouldn't look right. So um, I just used some tool right here. And it goes all the way around okay and then right here in the middle I use this beautiful butterfly that Leonie my passion for paper she gifted me hi Leonie and I put two little rosettes there I tied a bow in the back with the same tool that I have wrapped around okay I made a banner using the string you can use um, Baker's twine but I use the string off of the manila tags because I have so much of it and then I have um, a banner punch, and then I used a little circle punch, and then I just put, um, and I edged everything with um, Vintage Photo. And then I went ahead and put these cute little pearl flat backs, I guess you would call them. And I just put out beauty. It's all loose, the only thing that's tied is the ends. And then I use these little bows from Martha Stewart, because that is one thing I cannot do is tie a bow. Forget it, I'm over it. So. I just um, put out beauty. I did not want to write spring flowers. I didn't want to do that because I'm going to keep it out all year long. So I don't want to just label it for one thing. So um, I just went ahead and put beauty. Okay, so the bow there, bow there. 
Then I have this absolutely beautiful bottle cap charm that was um, part of a swap that I participated in um, on Tamika's um, channel, the embellishment swap. I am so sorry for not being able to mention the name that's on here because when I get swaps, I literally put them in my embellishment. You know, I have an embellishment little jar and I put everything there. So I don't remember the names and I'm deeply sorry. But if you see this on here, honey, you did the most awesome job ever. I loved it all of your charms girlfriend they were so beautiful and it went perfect with this theme so all i did was added a few more um, of the jump rings so that i can put it through the skewer okay all through the top i added pearl trim on the inside it's a foam it's like one of those little foam things that you put inside it's meant for doing this so it's i also purchased that at the dollar store this moss i purchased at the dollar store and these are skewers that i got from target it's like a bag of a bunch and i cut all of them in different heights and i just stuck them in that's all i did i have this die that does this really pretty bow it's like a spellbinder type die and then i just put little yellow blings on all of them and each flower has these bows on them okay these flowers, I handmade all of them using my Hawaiian hibiscus punch. And then um, some of them, they have pearl stamens. Some of them have like that little, I don't know what kind of stamen that would be. But they're different type of stamens, use different kinds of colors. I have sporadically, if you notice, I have butterflies hanging off the petals of different parts of the flowers. I stickled every single one of them. So I just randomly have butterflies, which you can see love it absolutely love it in the back all i did was use this is a martha stewart punch it's like a one inch punch is what that is but it just has little scallops in the back just to cover up you know the stick where it ended so nobody's gonna see that part but i just don't i don't want it to look you know unfinished so this is my project hope you ladies love it i had a blast doing it yay so let me go ahead and briefly see if I can go ahead and show you all the punches that were used just in case somebody asks because there's somebody normally that does. This is the banner punch I used. This is a Jenny Bolin punch. I don't think they have these anymore. These were at Joann's. You can always check at joanns.com. Sometimes they still have stuff that are old. This is what I made the flowers out of. Sorry. Okay, was this punch. And then, let me see. Oh, this is the punch I used for the actual banner. And this is the punch I used for the back of the flowers. Okay, so those are the punches I used. Thank you ladies so much for stopping by. Please scoot on to everybody else. It's super fun. Check it all out. Thank you so much again for stopping by all my new subbies and thank you in advance for all your comments. I appreciate and love each one of you. Okay, I will see you soon. Bye.